Kelly, new this morning, protests went late into the night again with federal agents using tear gas and crowd control munitions. Elise Haas joins us live from downtown Portland with an update. Elise. Ken, this is one of the most active mornings I've seen in a while. There are dozens and dozens of protesters still out right now. Many of them are just hanging out and sitting down in the park right outside the federal courthouse, which, as you know, was shut down by the city, but all the fencing uh, the protesters had taken down and are now kind of occupying that area. So. Portland police released a statement early this morning saying that they were not involved in any of the events last night, but they say federal agents were. So our crews were on scene late into the night, and they were they saw agents firing multiple canisters of that tear gas right outside the federal courthouse and in the surrounding area downtown. Crews placed a much stronger fence around the courthouse this weekend, asking protesters to demonstrate peacefully and leave that fence alone. However, around 9:40 last night, PPB says protesters breached the fence and began trying to pull it down. Around 11:20, federal agents came out of the courthouse and tried to repair the fence and went back inside. And just before midnight, the fence was pulled down by protesters, and that's when federal agents used more tear gas and crowd control munitions to push back the crowd. Protesters that we spoke with say the protests are mostly peaceful. It's anti-democratic. It is having a few bullies use fear, contempt, and hate to terrorize, traumatize, injure, cause pain, kill, cage, impoverish, break up families, the majority of people. Just after 1.30 this morning, Portland police say a fire was started in the front of the federal courthouse. However, agents pushed back the crowd that got in and again extinguished the fire. Portland police say they were not present during any of the protests last night and into this morning. But coming back out here alive, uh, what you can kind of see is probably some images of people standing, sitting, and lying around downtown on the sidewalks and in the surrounding areas outside the Justice Center and again outside the federal courthouse. So we're going to continue to stay outside this morning in downtown Portland to monitor the situation and bring you any updates that we learn. But for now, reporting live, Elise Haas, Point Six News.